at the fifth term of an arithmetic sequence is 12. Great, they told me it's arithmetic. So there's stuff I can assume. Okay, I can assume there's a, there's a, a constant difference. Is 12 and the 12th term is 33. Before I even look at the question, which is the next part, I'm going to rewrite that in math terms because this business of 5th and 12th, I mean, yeah. 5th is T5. T5 is 12. And T12, oh, that's confusing. You've got two lots of 12. That is 33. All right, now I'm back in the land of the living in terms of math stuff I can actually work with. Right then, they're giving me T's. Cool. Determine the sum of the first 40 terms. The sum. Sum. I know it's arithmetic. Cool. So that's N over 2. 2A plus N minus 1D. Right. So I've just got my head into the game here. T's. T's and an SN. Ah, okay. I don't have SN. I don't have, wait, I do have N. I've got 40. N is 40. Cool. A is, don't know, D. Okay, right. Can't do, can't do. And it's really useful to write that down. Um, I'm writing it down very much with the intention of saying, I'm writing it down, but I know, I, I know I can't start this, okay? But if you're doing this for the first time, you may think, well, why do I start with the end here? And it's because I want to see where the gaps are. I do have that. And then the 12 and the 33, like what happens with them? Well, the trick is that I'm being given T's, right? So that means I've got to deal with that. I've got to deal with the TN. So let me just work with the, these guys. I've got the N and the TN and the N and the TN. And I'm actually going to have two different equations I can create. And the minute you've got two equations and two variables, you are dealing with simultaneous equations. Okay. So when I go with Let's go with T5. Okay, so in the case of T5, I'm just going to put my general formula here. Tn equals A plus N minus 1D. Right, so, so 12 would equal A, which I don't know, plus the N is 5, right? So that's A plus 4D. And then if I sub it in the other way, I'm going to have 33 equals a plus 11d. Okay, so these guys are going to be used in my simultaneous equations. Now you might like the method where you stack them and you subtract them. I'm really a fan of substitution methods, so I'm going to deal with it like that. And I'm just going to solve for a. Okay, so um, I'm going to take that over here. And I'm going to say... Right, well, A, A equals 12 minus 4D, and A also equals 33 minus 11D. Um, if A is that and A is that, then these two things are equal to each other. So that's the next step. I'm going to take that back here, um, and I'm going to say 12 minus 4D equals 33 minus 11d. So we've got the two a values essentially that can be now equated to each other because they both come from the same thing. So both of the a values will be exactly the same. And now I'm just going to solve. Okay, so I'm going to put that on that side and I'm going to end up with negative 4 plus 11. So I've got 7d over there and then the 33 um, minus the 12 gets me to 21. So d equals 3. Okay, once I've got D, I'm then going to sub back in here and get out my A value. So I'm just going to pick the first one. They don't seem uh, any different to each other in terms of easiness. So if A equals 12 minus 4D, the D is 3. Oh, so A is actually 0. Right. So A equals 0. So I've got D, I've got A. So my first term is 0. That's perfectly legit. What was the question again? The question was determine the sum of the first 40 terms. I've got D, 
I've got A and now I can sub in over here. All right, so I don't know the SN, but now I do know the A and I do know the D. The A is zero and the D is three. So when I sub in here, I'm going to say, that's what I don't know, my N is 40. 40 over two I can do straight away and go to 20. And then I'm gonna have two A, but that's zero, right? So that is gonna be zero plus and then n minus 1, n was 40, so it's 39, d, d is 3. Okay, plug and play into calculator and I get to 2, 3, 4, 0.